Hey, William Gilmore here for the ScreenwritersJourney.com. It is day 301 of the journey, and when I say 301, it actually is 301. Uh, I sort of messed up my days at some point. I'm not sure where, and I was actually a couple of days behind on numbering them, but I think we've got the sequence back on track, so I believe today is actually 301. So, there we are. Anyway, uh, this past Sunday, I helped out a fellow screenwriter and director, Laura Black, on her web series, Agnes and Estelle. Uh, it's short, uh, like two to three minute episodes that run on YouTube, and uh, it's a comedy web series. And so I stepped out from behind my keyboard and went behind the camera to help out on this web series, but I learned something very important about screenwriting, and that is how to get in and out of our scenes. Now, there's an old adage that says you should get in late and get out early on a scene, which simply means you get in late on the action. Uh, you start the scene, not necessarily at the beginning, but the scene you know, first begins at that first moment, but later on in the scene. And you get out as soon as you got the information out uh, that you needed to get across to the audience so that you're not wasting a lot of time uh, that you could be using in other scenes. So, in late, out early. And that was something that Laura was having a problem with. Now, she's done a lot of uh, theater work in the past, and uh, so she's an accomplished writer, but theater work tends to, the scenes tend to be longer, they're much more talky than they are in, in screenplays. And in this particular case, she was overwriting a little bit, and we're getting very detailed in how the actors would get from one place to the other. You know, a car pulls up in front of the house, she gets out of the car, she looks up to the window, the other actress is in the window looking back at the car, they see each other, they smile, they react, the one runs for the door, the other one's watching her, come, she comes down the steps, they embrace, big hug, walk to the car, get the luggage out of the car, have some dialogue, we see them walking back past the car, up the steps, to the front door, inside and down the hallway, and it was just a lot of stuff, and I was looking at it and going, wow, this is, for a two to three minute scene, we've, we've accomplished almost all that two to three minutes just in getting them inside the house and, and not getting to the actual scene. So I suggested that we maybe break that up a little bit and uh, we could have the reaction in the window and then just cut to the embrace on the steps and then we're at the back of the, the car. Put the camera inside the car so we see the hatchback come up and see the one actress reaching in and grabbing all the, the luggage and pulling it out and we have a little comic moment uh, when they move out of frame and then the one character comes back in to shut the uh, the hatchback because it, she was so enamored and caught up with the other actors that she forgot to do it. It made a nice little comic moment and that's great because it's a comedy web series. So we were able to truncate all of that action, that long drawn out seeing them arrive and greet each other and, and get the luggage out of the car and get it inside. Uh, you know, what was almost a two minute action sequence you know, we condensed down to you know 15 20 seconds and uh, it made it snappier quicker we got found some comic moments uh, it was really really worked out well and uh, Laura seemed very happy with it and she appreciated uh, you know that extra eye to help her out and it's something that she will uh, catch next time when she's writing she'll be able to you know see those moments and how can she truncate that now that she's seen, seen how it works and it's something that I'll be looking for uh, in my own work as well. And it's something that uh, one of the writers in uh, the Rewrites Workshop always uh, comments on is look at the last line of your scene. Do you need that last line? A lot of times we put a finality on the scene. You know, if, if they're all going to leave and they're going somewhere, they're, 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 one character is leaving and there's usually, you know, goodbye, goodbye, and everyone does the, you know, the little farewell. Do you really need that? Can it just be, you know, it's time to go? And then we cut to seeing the car pulling away or something. Do you need that last line? Do you need that last moment of finality in the scene or can you leave it hanging to carry you over to the next scene? Those are things to look for in your writing. Anyway, it's just something that got reinforced to me uh, this past weekend working on this shoot and uh, I'll be looking at my own writing to uh, make sure I make use of that. So it's something you can do with your own writing and uh, just go through your script and do you need that last line? Did you get in late enough in the action to get right to the point? And did, once you made your point, did you get out quickly or did you sort of lollygag and, and dally in the scene? Just things you know you can look at to uh, get your pacing going faster and just you know keep the, the read very, very quickly. Because uh, that's really what I want to do. We want to get that read very fast and quick for the reader. Uh, 
uh, keep them interested, keep them going. Don't give them a reason to set the script down and take a break. Anyway, that's all I have for uh, this edition. Uh, setting up uh, what I'm going to be doing for July, I'll talk about that in the next uh, day or two and uh, see what we accomplished this past month. Uh, I know it was a little lazy, so uh, check back in and we'll find out how the month turned out. Anyway, I'm William Gilmore for thescreenwritersjourney.com. I'll see you right back here on the website next time around. Peace out.